In that quiz you saw some pictures of dinosaurs. But how do we know what they look like if we've never seen them in real life? It's a tricky question that we put to the experts behind a dinosaur show currently touring Australia. Here's Carl with their answer. Yeah, I love them. I, I can't wait to see them. Yeah. Just imagine walking outside be awesome. hey, and this? being chased by these things. Walk on! Thankfully, dinosaurs went extinct millions of years ago. But these giant puppets are giving thousands of kids a good idea of what they might have been like. Well, there are 21 dinosaurs in this show. There are 10 uh, different species that are represented, uh, right through from very small uh, herbivores, the Platyosaurus, babies that break out of the eggs, right through to the very end of the period of dinosaurs, 170 million years, uh, to the massive uh, Tyrannosaurus rex and the 25 metre tall uh, Brachiosaurus. This international show is bringing dinosaurs back to life. Well, sort of. This is the lion of the Jurassic. At over three tons, a massive predator. A lot of work's gone into making them look as real as possible. The show's paleontologists have studied dinosaur remains like bones and teeth. And they've looked at things called trace fossils. They're all the other things left behind by these giant creatures like footprints and burrows. Trace fossils can tell us about uh, the size of a beast, the stride, um, the, the, um, uh, how fast they may have moved, uh, and also whether or not they're a predator, which has a three-pronged foot, a bit like this Utah raptor behind me, or a herbivore, which has different sort of feet. All of this evidence has helped researchers figure out a lot about these creatures, like how they moved, how they looked, what colour they were, and even how they might have acted, all without ever having to see them in the flesh. Having all that detailed information is one thing, but bringing them to life is another. So how do they do it? Well, these are mega puppets, and each one needs very specially trained people to make them move. Well, my name's Ed, I'm a voodoo puppeteer, and they call me a voodoo puppeteer because I perform what they call a voodoo rig. We call this a voodoo rig because if you look at it, it looks a little bit like a small model of the dinosaur. Each puppet can weigh as much as a car, and they need as many as three people operating each of them. So if I move the neck on the voodoo rig like this, the neck on the dinosaur will move. This is the head, I can twist the head around. Have a little toggle switch here, to move the head left and right up and down. We also have a voodoo auxiliary who performs all the sounds live during the show. Just like that. And then we also have a joystick that controls the mouth open and closed and makes the eyes blink up and down and the eyes move side to side. So even though humans and these dinosaurs never lived alongside one another, this comes pretty close to experiencing what they would have been like up close. Mm -hmm.